a point we can't reach Done this before you fall. I won't catch you, don't know I'm stolen. Cause you love to have them all crying. Gonna be sweet, day. Tell me you need me. Of course, in true New York Fashion Week. True New York Fashion Week. What? I don't know what I'm saying. I got an urgent email saying things are running behind and we need to show up Very hair man. and makeup ready to call time. So my little happy ass just left Sephora, dropped $300. I barely packed like any good makeup with me. My first show is for Chrissy King. I'm gonna go with like a soft pageant girl type vibe. I'm gonna do big loose curls. I got some volumizing texture spray so I can make my hair nice and big. But I was just out and about strolling and now I'm having to hurry up and put my together before call time. currently waiting to get my hair redone because I did it at my hotel and it was fabulous. But it was raining outside so now I have to get it redone. And I'm getting stressed out because I have two shows today. This one is with the designer Chrissy King and then the other one is with Pink Melon. I'm praying that I can walk this one and then speed over there and make it. But if it gets to be too close, I might just have to leave this one and go to Pink Melon. Pink Melon is a brand that I really vibe with and it's very like much my vibe as a model and I don't want to miss that one. Whereas this one, it's just a lot of models. So if I don't walk, they won't miss me as much as Pink Melon. I'm getting a little bit of anxiety right now. Well, it's not my last show. My last show for this little weekend. The designs were so cute. I got put in like a resort wear bikini top mesh skirt. So I've been in bikinis basically. I did a blazer brand. They had me wear a bodysuit so my butt was out and I was just like... Ugh. And I walked for a bikini line and I just did this one. I flew all the way to <laughs> New York just to be put back in bikinis. Every time a designer sees my hips, they're like, we gotta show them things. We gotta show all that. I always get put in smaller outfits because my hips are the accessory, <laughs> which I'm grateful. Like that's the world of modeling. If you have one significant feature, that's what you're gonna get booked for. Anyways, today's show was really cool. It was on a rooftop. It was for Maui X Lolita, which is two designers, super cool designs. Like all across the board, they had a lot of different types of clothes. Now I'm back already in bed and it's only 7.45. I have been going nonstop since the day I got here. Today is the 10th and I've been here since the first and I haven't had a single day to breathe. Two of my girlfriends are going 
going to towel tonight but i just i'd have to get on the subway and i don't want to get like completely re-ready take a shower get on the subway la, 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 la. like no i just don't feel like doing all that and if i went out i know i would want to wear heels and i'm not trying to wear heels across the city on the subway i'm about to take a shower and then be in for the rest of the night i got myself some little japanese cookie snacks but i'm so sad i'm so sad yesterday and today i got booked for two shows the times of the shows were overlapping so i couldn't do both so i had to choose one so yesterday i showed up to the first brand but everything started to run behind i had to you know choose and i chose to go to the next design um, to the next show that designer she really wanted me to walk for her her brand is like curvy girls you know so it was swimwear she's based out of miami and i was supposed to walk for her in swim week but again i got double booked with two designers so i couldn't do both yesterday i was really happy with the choice i made with the designer i picked today same situation got booked for two designers the one designer i chose i chose her because i had already met her she was super super professional her show was on a rooftop the other designer that i didn't choose i didn't choose them because i had only received an email that i got approved but they didn't have a fitting so like i never got to meet a designer i didn't know what i was going to be wearing i didn't know what the venue was going to be and some of these venues in new york questionable it's hard to get big good venues here because it's New York and I just saw the Instagram and I'm sick to my stomach you guys for one I would have been walking in full clothes I would have been in an outfit the venue was phenomenal like stunning don't get me wrong I love the designer I walked for Maui X Lolita they did their damn thing the venue was beautiful but I'm just sad that I had to miss the other one it was super high fashion the venue was like window walls all white and there was hundreds of people and the guests like in the seats i'm sick i'm sick that i wasn't able to make that that's the only thing i hate about fashion weeks and swim weeks because all of these designers are crammed into three days you have to pick and choose because you can't do all of them and so like i did all these casting days and got picked by multiple designers just to have to narrow it down to only doing one show a day that's frustrating but i'm grateful like it's good problems to have i'd rather be turning designers down than not getting picked by anyone so i'm very very grateful new york fashion week has been hard without an agent or like without an agency because like i just don't know anyone here these fun events i bc and people go to i'm like i need to get with an agency talk to you later friends i have been ordering this wrap i think this is my third time getting it by the time it's nighttime i just don't want to be out on the street i just want to lay in bed and decompress and edit and do shit on my phone and i've been watching sex in the city i was on season one when i got here definitely almost done with season three sex in the city has just been playing non-stop this wrap is huge it's like a burrito i'm in heaven i've been in bed since i think 6 45 and i'm a happy little girl i've just been kind of lazy with the whole socializing part i've been socializing and casting lines and at shows and i don't really drink so nightlife isn't really as intriguing to me standing in heels for four to five hours with random men trying to hit on me doesn't really sound that fun as of now your girl has been in with carrie bradshaw we've been vibing out a little phone editing catching up talking on the phone and eating this big ass wrap that's it <laughs> Why don't you get it by now? Tell me what you learn in grade school. So this is like the first time I think since I've been here I've done like a full face of makeup on myself. Now I'm like going to the Brooklyn Bridge to take photos. I'm gonna do an updo. Yeah, I haven't filmed a lot in the past few days. I don't have anything to say besides, oh, this is what I'm doing, running from here to here to here. I haven't missed much. Um, I had a show Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I didn't do much yesterday. Today, I went to my show thinking it was today, and it's tomorrow. There was a whole nother show going on and no one had any clue what I was talking about. So I messaged the designer and he was like, babe, the show's tomorrow. Then I roamed around the city trying to buy some less last minute things I need for photo shoots. Then I got lost on the train, grabbed some sweet green to eat, but yeah, we made it. And now I'm getting ready. I wanna go to the Brooklyn Bridge and get photos. Bye. So I forgot to bring you guys. I forgot you guys here in the hotel room, but tonight I did get cute and 
I'm falling. I'm like trying to hold myself up so you can see me. So as I was saying, I went to the Brooklyn Bridge tonight and got some cute pictures. I finally had a New York hot dog. It's just a basic ass hot dog. There was nothing special about it. Met up with a girlfriend, Mia. She's from the UK and my fans kept telling me I should collab with her. Me and her linked up in the city and that was really cool. And now I am about to clean my hotel room, probably go get something to eat and lay in bed and watch Sex in the City. Sorry I haven't talked on here except like when I'm in the hotel room. It's just like so crazy on the streets. It's hard for me to like talk into the camera. But yeah. Bye. Me like you wanted. Did you forget that could do? What is I love it one side? It should really be given take. Fill you up and leave me empty. Baby, was that the my mistake? Covering these feelings. Going through changes. I'm just so mad right now. I can't even think straight. So I'ma just tweet it and delete it. Knowing you won't read it Before we get too far away I need to clear my mind I'd rather just tweet it and delete it Before we cross the line And we reach a point we can't reach I cannot believe it's been two weeks. Like, fastest two weeks of my life. I've been going nonstop. Um, I've only had one day off. Today's my last show. Tomorrow I'm doing a photo shoot. My skin is going through it. I'm on this new skin regimen and I'm supposed to see my esthetician every two weeks for her to adjust what I'm using on my face. I haven't been able to see her in a month. I think I need to stop using these products because they're burning my skin. I know peeling is good, but I think like this is too much. I've had to like lube my face with Vaseline. I've been walking around this hotel like it's my house and I've had like Vaseline all over my face trying to like keep moisture in. I mean, I put moisturizer on and then I put the Vaseline on. Other than that, when I get home, I definitely think I want to do 75 hard. I'm really craving like feeling super healthy. I thought I was going to work out while I was here and I have not worked out once. Overall, it has been a bit lonely. I've been here by myself and I haven't gone out and done like anything at night at all. I just go to castings. I get home by like eight, nine. I'm in the hotel the rest of the night. I've met up with some models like out and about, but that's been my social life. Pretty much non-existent. And I've barely gotten to eat. You guys, after this show, the way I am going to go get two bagels, I want one that's like bacon, egg, and cheese, and then I want one that's cream cheese. I might get two cream cheese ones and put one in my purse for later. I want bread so bad. I've had pizza. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't like worth it. The bagels, I know I'm gonna like, mm. Anyways, I need to go get ready now. Bye. Can't even think straight. So I'ma just tweet it and delete it. Knowing you won't read it Before we get too far away I need to clear my mind I'd rather just tweet it and delete it Before we cross the line And we reach a point we can't be I'm about to change into my second look Tomorrow it's my last shoot Tired of being in front of a camera I just want to like go to a theme park Or go to a water park Or like go hang out with my friends I've been alone in New York just working non-stop and I'm so grateful. I'm just a little burnt out. <laughs> with underground. We're about to start shooting. I'm trying to decide what earrings I want to wear. I feel like Matilda Jerf with this hair. I should plug in my curlier. Before we cross the line and we reach a point we can't be
I don't want to be crying on the internet. Um, I feel like it's important to share the not so highlight reel with you guys as well. I just started my period. I'm lonely. I just left a shoot. You guys see my best photos and then there's like hundreds of other ones that don't make the cut. Having to look at all of the other ones, it makes you hypercritical of yourself and makes you hyper analyze everything. I'm just so ready to go home. Just do something besides be in front of a camera. I'm supposed to go to this model camp tomorrow. Every part of me just wants to book a flight home and just go home. Like I really hope that those photos from today's shoot, like we got some good ones because in the videos like you can just see it all over my face that I don't feel confident. People think I'm so confident and I'm like I am confident as a person. I'm not confident as a model. <sighs> It stresses me out. Like, I feel like sometimes I should just stick to making my own content, being a vlogger and an influencer, and just stop trying to be a model. I don't know. I'm just having a hard past few days. I haven't really recorded that much because I've just been in a, a funky mindset. I don't know if it's just hormones. I've just been here for a long time. Being here in New York is overwhelming for me. Walking down the street and how much attention I get. Like cat calls, guys trying to talk to me or like hoot and holler at me. It's just weird. Someone wants to shoot with me tonight. I just don't know if I can do it. Photographers tell me like I need to wear less makeup so I can have like more of a natural beauty look. But it's like without makeup I have so many acne scars and so much acne and I have to wear all this makeup to cover it up and that makes me insecure. Like I feel like I'm hiding behind makeup and then I have people comment things like you wear too much makeup or why are you wearing all that makeup and it's like I didn't wear all this makeup then you guys will be commenting about how much acne I have it's just a lot like I feel like I spend so much time trying to make my appearance perfect so that I can be good at my job I don't know I'm gonna get off here guys <laughs>